and we're going to go up do the same thing. So we're going to go to Animate, Constraint, Path Constraint, and we need to select the arc. Make sure you select the arc. And that will give us keyframes as well, so we need to delete those. And if we, it's going to put us right in our motion panel right away. So we can slide down and we can set this to 50. And we want it to follow. So as we slide this around, it does follow and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't stay straight. So, and we're probably, we're going to need to do that with these other objects here. So if we go down and we say, we go to a curve, slide these down, we see everything goes around. Yet, these don't seem to follow. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to select our box, select that to follow, and select our arc, and select that to follow. Um, and we're going to need, need to change around our axis here. So let's go to Y, and we're going to need to flip it. All right, that should be good. That looks good. All right, so now we can sort of attach our U-Haul. So let's go back to zero. We're going to grab our U-Haul itself. Make sure you grab the front tires as well. And we'll put this right on top. That looks pretty good. And let's go to our side window. We want to make sure that it is on top of our line. Because if you use this line for, say, you make an instance of this, and you then want to take it and make a road out of it, you're going to need this U-Haul to be on top of the line. So let's just drag this up to on top of the line. And good. So now all we need to do is that we need to attach the U-Haul to our rigging. So first, let's select our U-Haul. And we're going to use the Link tool. And we'll drag from the U-Haul down to our rear dummy object. And then we also want to grab our front tires. And we want to link those to the U-Haul. And then we need to do one more thing. And we're going to use a different type of constraint for our steering. So with our front tires selected, we're going to go up to Animation, Constraint, and we're going to use a Look At Constraint. So let's select that, and that will also give us a selector. And we'll select our front dummy object. All right, let's go back to the top view. And we'll look at this. OK, you can see our front tires are pigeon toed. So that's not a big deal. That's what we need to fix next. So by selecting our first front tire, it will bring us back into our motion control panel. And we can set orientation here. So we select this button, and with it down, we'll hit rotate, and we'll straighten out these tires. And make sure you turn off set orientation. And then these lines are a little long, so we can set this to four, well, maybe a little longer, say six. And then we'll do our other tire. So let's select that, set our line, as soon as my computer's done thinking, to six, shorten up our line, and then set orientation, and we'll straighten this tire. Okay, and we'll turn off set orientation. Okay, so we should be all rigged. Now, one thing to remember is, say if this box may be a little too far, a little too uh, further back, we can actually go in here into our wire parameters that we had open, select on this, oops, wrong side, select on this side, and we can change our parameters and hit update again. But we look pretty good, but if you need to do that, you're going to need to go and reorientate the tires because they will camera them somewhat. So with that, let's go take a look. Let's go back into our perspective view here, and we'll see how well our U-Haul does. Let's get back out to our main curve here. All right, so U-Haul coming along, and tires are turning. Looks like we want it. That looks good. So say if we wanted to do a kick out, select our rear box, our dummy object, and we would set a keyframe, and we'd slide down, oh, let's move that keyframe back a little bit, and to about here, we could say, let's go back up, we can actually drag this box, which 
sort of makes it a little difficult to drag sometimes. Or, oh, we didn't have animate on. Turn on auto key. Um, or we can go down and then underneath the uh, motion control panel, make sure you go to position. And position will give you a whole bunch of different menus besides rotation. So we can actually take this and we can say, okay, I want this U-Haul to kick out on the back. And now if we look at it, it comes around. Yeah, kicks out. That's nice. And then as it's coming back around the other way, I want to make it kick back out a little bit. And then as it comes down, I want to straighten out. So let's go to 50. That puts us right in the center. So our U-Haul comes around, rear end kicks out, kicks out the other way, and then straightens out. So that's as simple as it is. Um, really nice, quick, simple rigging for uh, making a vehicle uh, go down the spline. You can auto key and manually rotate these tires, but most of the time, if you're not that close, you don't even have to worry about rotating tires. Uh, but you can do it that way. Uh, I hope this helps you, and uh, thanks a lot. Check us out again. And if you didn't understand some of these things and went to a little quick, um, do have a tutorial on wiring, and we also do have uh, path constraint tutorials as well. So uh, thanks a lot. See you.